guys welcome back to my channel this is a video i haven't filmed a video in so long i think i filmed one in the new year but it was like earlier on of what i got for christmas trying to get back in the swing of things i have been super busy with life but i don't have outfits in this video i'm just gonna do a straight haul so and give you a little backstory um last year was great um in 2023 i did whatever I wanted to do about whatever I wanted to buy which <laughs> is a lot I feel like I consumed a lot and I felt like going into 2023 I was going to spend less on clothes and just buy things I know I say this every year and it's tapered off every year um be intentional with what I buy and think about purchases before I make them etc cetera, etc cetera. 2024 i've stuck to that so far this year um hence i mean i've been getting little things here and there i just haven't felt motivated to make a haul video but this is some things i've been buying so i went on a shopping freeze fast spending halt in january where i didn't buy many things if i did i had to really really love it or it had to be a certain amount of money and going into February, I kind of lifted it a little bit and I bought a few things. So we're going to talk about the things that I bought. So this is a box from the Outnet. Um, I featured several things on my channel before from the Outnet. I'm going to talk about my outfit really quick first. Um, this cardigan is from, and I'll put a picture, is from Express. My bodysuit is from Bar 3 from Macy's. Necklace is Bracas, one of my favorites. I think I wear it every day. Jewelry um, is from Ethica and it's a Cartier ring. Um, bracelet, got this from Etsy. It's like a, it gives a nod to a um, Tiffany bracelet, but it actually has a scripture on it. It says above all else, guard your heart. Proverbs, it has like the Proverbs um, 423 on the little circle. It's really cute. My Christian Dior bracelet, my Jade BW watch. And I have Skims leggings on and I have Steve, I mean, um, Sam Edelman boots. So I have things in this video from Fashion Nova, Target, and I think that's, oh, Express. I have a few things from Express. Let's go ahead and get started. The first things I'll talk about are from Fashion Nova. Um, I bought this denim d jean set with like a mini skirt. And I bought this to wear with like boots. So it's a denim jacket. The jacket is like long. It's a black wash denim. Reminds me of like Dr. Dre and Snoop videos from the 90s. And then there's a black mini skirt which i wore with like black tights and then tall boots i got it in a 1x i think so it came as a matching set fashion nova of course y'all know have like um everything's 50 percent off i think they have that now that's a matching set it's called the super babe denim skirt set and i got it in a 1x so the, the jacket is oversized and then the skirt is me so I really like that and I'm looking forward to wearing it. Not sure where <laughs> because um, it's like going to have to be like going out to dinner because this is the skirt. Going out to like dinner or just out with friends because I can't wear that to work. Second thing I have from Fashion Nova for a pair of fringe leather pants they're leggings i'm supposed to i'm not taking these out because i'm wearing these on a special occasion <laughs> i i'm supposed to be going to like this rodeo thing these are called the shaking it fringe leggings and a one x and i got them in brown can't wait to wear these um i guess i can open them to see like the color leather i guess i can open them so they're just like brown leather leggings with fringe on the sides. We love fringe over here. So I'm excited to wear these. I just need to figure out a top and like shoes. Um, I have two t-shirts from Fashion Nova. 
Y'all know I love graphic tees. The first one I'm not gonna unfold is a Mary J. Blige t-shirt and it has like the what's the 411 um on the bottom and then it has a picture part of the video. I got it in a extra large and I actually got this from the men section. So most of my fashion Nova tees are from the men section. See Nova men. And the next one, last thing I got from Fashion Nova is A baller blocking t shirt with the hot boys on the front. So it says baller blocking. It's like the album cover. And I got this one in an extra large as well. It's like faded gray black. Y'all know I love rap music. Hot boys is one of my favorites. So yeah. Um, that's all from Fashion Nova. Next from Target. I got the denim trench that everybody is raving about. It's really, really heavy duty. I thought it was going to be thin. I mean, it's not that it's not that thick, but it's not as thin as I thought. So it's from Universal Thread. Oh, like it's really good quality. This is it. It has a flap on the back. Like it's a real true trench. I got it in a 1X. It was $44, and I think I got it on a sale, like where they had like 20% off. But yes, it's a really good quality, y'all. I recommend. Next, from Target, I ordered some stuff from their Black um, History Collection. The first, I only got two things. Um, I got this t-shirt with like the gold te teeth, the gold grill, and the woman holding the disco ball in her mouth. I thought that was super cute, and I really, really like that. It's very much so my vibe. I got my lighter one, too. She has hers on today. And then the second last piece I got was this cardigan. Going into spring, I thought it would be really cute. I have an extra large. It's unisex. It's from Castor Petaway. G's Men's. That's the brand. Um, it was $30. And it's just like a, it gives me Louis Vuitton for real Williams vibes, actually. It just has the checker print and then it's in tan, like a dark taupe in tan. And then it's lined in lime green and white. And I thought like a lot of sneakers that I have would go with this. It's really cute. I really like it. I love like the design of it with the checkerboard and like the geometric prints. I like this oversized. It'll look great with jeans. I love it. That's all. Oh, and one last thing from Target. Y'all know I'm a slip dress fanatic. Saw this one. I thought it was super cute. It's black and white polka dots. Larger polka dots in the top. And then smaller polka dots at the bottom. Just scream spring summer to me with a cardigan. And like a boot or a heel it was i got all of this stuff during the sale target has like right now they have a sale on um this one. um like right now one second right now they have a sale on um tees jeans and one second tees jeans and shoes going on right now 20% off so I'm sure they'll move on to dresses and other stuff soon but I the sale that I bought this stuff from it was a 30% off sale I got this in an extra large and it's satin material it's really pretty they had four different color variations also next is express so I talked about this on my Instagram. Um, one night, so in January, I could not shop. So I would go online at night and like go to different stores that I usually shop at. Y'all know I shop Hella Express, H&M, Target, um, I like the Outnet. I like Abercrombie. 
those are like places that I regularly shop at. So I was on Express, Macy, excuse me. And I was putting stuff in my cart just like I normally do. They had a really good sale. And I went down the cart and I was just looking at the things. And it checked out like that. I was like, this is actually during January. And this order was a, a pretty hefty order. It was like a fur coat, which I could have worn today. I forgot that I had a fur coat, a fur vest, um, a, like a gold brocade Chanel S jacket. It was so many different things. It was a great order though. Um, and so, yeah, it was like one of those fluky things that would happen to me. So in February, I went on Express website because they were having another sale. Like they had the 100 off 200. And then I think I had another coupon where I ordered a few things for because I had a work trip coming up. And this is what I ordered. So I ordered this cardigan. And then I ordered, I have some sneakers that are like pink. So I ordered this pink leather shirt. It's really cute. It's like a camp shirt. And ordered an extra large. I thought it would look cute. Jeans, like it's the quality. Express is quality, y'all already know. It's top tier. Let me look at this shirt. It's faux leather. So I thought that would transition me into spring. It's great for winter. And the inside is like faux suede. Like it really feels like a piece of leather fabric that is just cut and sewed. Like it's everything. Another piece from that Mystery Express order is a jean jacket. I have several jean jackets, but I thought this one was cute because it's stitched in the back. And it's like a smaller jacket. It's, most of my other jean jackets are oversized, and I don't have any that fit close to the body. So I like this to wear over like slip dresses, and it's not like swallowing me. So just to have like a different option. It says it's indigo dyed. Um, I love the wash of it, and like I said, I love this feature where it's like cinched in the back. And I will put pictures beside the screen so you guys can see. And that's everything I got from Express. So this is the first order that I placed in February when I could shop. The outlet was having a sale. Well, I was looking for... Um, I bought a Ghani sweatsuit from Essence Ooh, when it was summertime. And so I was looking, I had a Ghani sweatshirt in my cart at the outlet because I like Ghani sweat um, suits and like um, clothing because it's really well made. So I went on the outlet and I placed the order just because they had a sale on a lot of their pieces. And I got another ghani sweatshirt so it's just pink and like a lilac -y color and then the back it says ghani right there and then of course it says ghani in there all of this stuff was on sale and very reasonably priced and i thought this would be great to take me into spring um it's well made so that's the tag it's like ghani responsible it's not like thick material. It's slid on the side. I wore a red one. I'll put a picture here that I already have, like a fully red one. But I really liked that one. And then the next Ghani thing I got was a pair of sweatpants, which I already have some um, red ones because I have the whole sweatsuit. They have the whole red sweatsuit in pink, but I didn't want the whole sweatsuit. I just wanted the pants. So these are the pants. I got these in a extra large the website said an extra large is a 12 14 but these fit me fine so i think they're oversized and there's pink and they have gone right there it's like weekends i like the bottoms of them I like the waistbands i like the material like it's not too thick it's not too thin it's great a great transitional um sweatpants next thing i got was i have a pair of um 
Adidas, I think I showed them in my last video, but I don't have many shirts to wear with them. And I thought this was cute. So I got a Woolrich long sleeve shirt. I mean, y'all know about Woolrich when we were like younger, they made like really nice coats. And that's how you can tell if the guy had some money or not, whether he had a Woolrich coat on or not. But um, yes, yeah, so I got the shirt and I figured I would just wear this with jeans. I have to wear my sneakers. You're really cute. I got another Ghani piece. So I got the t-shirt. I wanted this t-shirt in um, green and it was like a green and gray. And then it had a green and a brown, but it sold out. So I had to get another size. I don't know the size. And so this is an extra large, like I said, it's high risk red. Um, and it's just like the red and the lilac. And it just has Ghani right here on the corner in white. And I think I want to wear this with like a denim skirt. It's like a v-neck t-shirt. And this could be lilac or gray. It's coming out to me as gray. So I'm going to wear it with like gray jeans and like sneakers. I think that would be cute. Um, another thing that I got with this Adidas shirt out of the men's section, I shop the men's section a lot when I'm looking for t-shirts just because the men's section have really great t-shirts, especially if you're looking for designer items and you want them to run bigger and not fit as snug, that's an option. So I got this Adidas t-shirt. This was a collab with Noah. Not sure what that is, but I'll show you. So all this stuff came from the outlet. And it's just like brown and beige and it has Adidas in the corner of the symbol. And then it has a Noah, whatever Noah is, I'm not really sure. And a cross on the sleeve. I got the Adidas, um, what are the shoes called? Hold please. I can't remember. But I got that shirt to go with a particular pair of sneakers that I was able to grab off of eBay. I'll tell y'all real quick. I can't think of it right now. They're like a really limited edition. Um, and I've been stalking them on eBay forever. Let's see. I like pause somebody. Let's see. Oh, Wells Bonner. I got the pony hair Wells Bonner um, sneakers. I'll show y'all if I can open them. Yeah, the pony hair Wells Bonner um, Sambas. I'm so excited for these. I've been stalking them for the longest on eBay. And so I thought that this top would be cute with those. I'm still in my sneaker area. And lastly, I got two good American pieces. So I got a denim skirt, a shorter one. The only ones that I have are either florally, like maxis or midis. And I felt like I needed like a mini or a knee length. This is in a 16. On the website for the iMet, it had it as a 39. I'm not really sure because the waist of a 16 is usually a 33. But I was scared. But um, the 39 is a 16 because it says 16. So that's that sprayed on the bottom. And then I got a pair of Good American jeans. Um, these are good straights. So they're not... Um, skinny they're straight and they have distressing all over them even like around the waistband so that's what drew me to them and they're good legs straight y'all know i love good legs and see the good waist and they just come straight down i love the wash i love the distressing at the bottom y'all can see and didn't have a packing slip in the box, but I know these were like 
$30. So it says a high rise vintage expired straight with fit flat, fit with flat tummy technology and gap roof waistband and smoothing denim. And seam is 27 and a half. So I guess they're gonna be like cropped. Probably not on me as cropped, but this and this in the Sambas would be really cute. Excited to wear that. And yeah, the stuff came packaged really nice in the box. I'll show y'all. It had like tissue paper. Box came looking like this. And it had a sticker. Oops, with the box open. Yeah, so that's all the things I've been buying lately. Oh, I went to Ulta today. So I'm wearing on my lips Tower 28 um, gloss. Mine's me of like a, the Fenty Butter, I mean, um, gloss and honey waffles. That's it. It came in a two pack. Got it for Christmas. I recommend. It's not sticky. So it's Tower 28. I got it from Sephora. So from also today, because Mariah had money that she's itching to spend. I took her in there and I got two things. I got the Elf Halo Go Blush in Berry Radiant. Because I bought one of these a couple of weeks ago. The pink one. And I loved it. So all I do is like put three dots on each side. And I just buff it out. Very natural. So I want to get like a darker color. Because the color that I have is kind of light and then i got a bioma deep puff eye gel um it's triceramide complex triple hyaluronic vitamin c boosted berry better skin deep puff and brighten i always need to deep puff and brighten my eyes it just comes with a little pump i like the packaging I like the color my first Bioma products, Malaya bought a um, moisturizer. So I'm curious to see how the moisturizer works. So I might go back and get that. But this is the eye gel that I got. And that's all that I got from Ulta. I've been trying to buy less beauty products also and use the things that I have before I replace. I was doing really good at that. And so, yeah, so that's my Ulta purchase. But yeah, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things with the videos. I am going to post a trends video, like what trends I'm buying into for the spring, summer. Oh, well, to be honest, I haven't been into some of the things I've seen. Like I see the baggy jeans. Those good American straights are like the baggiest I want my jeans to get. I know everybody's like wearing those men's 90s loose fit gap jeans. I just don't. Want my I don't want to look bigger than I am. I just don't want my jeans to fit. If I find some that fit like loose but not sloppy, maybe. But I don't know. Um, but some of the trends I'm not really into. And I just need to dig through the trends to, to give y'all the ones that I'm really actually going to wear. So that's my homework. Um, I want to do a... Oh, I did do like a video earlier this year. I remember it was like a best and worst purchases. Um, I want to do a eBay video, like a dedicated eBay video, like a new updated one of some of the things that I purchased over years from eBay that were like gems. Um, and I still might do that, but look for that trends video. Hope you guys have a great night. Just trying to get back into the swing of filming. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.